Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Lethus Path of Progress uh, Strategy and Tactics. So, um, as a sort of an end cap to all of my uh, all of my tips and all of my strategies that I offered you in the previous videos, uh, go ahead and uh, there's a playlist at the bottom if you have not seen those already. We are going to put all of that knowledge into uh, into service here into our next mission. Now, I am actually playing this blind. I have not seen any Let's Play covering uh, this third mission here, nor, as you can see, have I played it myself. So I'm going to just be applying the uh, the, the, the stratagems that I came up with here um, and seeing if I can make it work on our next uh, campaign here. Um, now, as you can see, also I am playing on hard. In fact, the uh, all the quick tip videos that I uh, was showing you was also being played on hard. So keep that in mind um, that some of the difficulties I might have, you might not have if you play on easy or normal. Uh, but let's get started, shall we? We need 2,000 workers and level 10 houses, and we need 4,000 units of jewelry yearly. Um, so, uh, sounds like a pretty, uh, pr pretty uh, beefy and industrial uh, one going here, so let's, uh, let's give it a try. As you know, my dear Arch Archibald, the high provinces shall become center of the industrial revolution, to be on top of the game to provide a stellar example for the rest of the world. I've got big plans for the future, yet firstly we need to mine some minerals. Lots of minerals. Um, so, let's uh, get okay, started. Okay, we are here. Let's uh, let's take a quick survey of the land here. Now, keeping in mind, we need uh, lots of people. Uh, two thousand inhabitants, I believe. A uh, uh, having two two uh, housing blocks will be enough to suffice in terms of our uh, getting our worker count up. And I know we can get up to level 10 houses themselves, so that's not a problem. Getting all that jewelry going might be another issue. But uh, look at all this empty space. Look at all of this empty space. We could probably do, if we really wanted to, three housing blocks. Uh, that would be probably a little bit overboard. Um, but, you know, if we wanted to tack on a third, if we were finding ourselves lacking in employment, we can do that. But let's just start with the two for now. I like starting with two because it gives you a good solid base. Because uh, even when it's really low level, you're getting two whole blocks at a really low level, which is more people than you would just getting at one. Um, so let us set up our block here, um, just same as before. Uh, since the trees are down here and there's plenty of space up here, we're going to use this as a base and grow upwards because there's plenty of room to grow in that direction. In fact, we could just go back side to side to side to side here for quite a ways if we wanted to. So having room for population, not a problem. All right, so once again, we're going to be doing our things here. Uh, we'll go with the blue, that stuff right there. Uh, and I want to uh, I want to pause this because I don't want any events or emperor's orders to start triggering on me when I'm still just getting my stuff built. Um, right then, so housing block, and then road. Housing block, or, well, housing plot, rather. Uh, we'll keep this all, we'll make this the blue zone. Um, housing plot, road, housing plot, and last but not least, uh, we'll make this the orange. All right, so let's grow these upwards here. So that is the 11th one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Mix 11. Like that. Like that. And like that. We'll get you growing up like that. Oops. Get you growing up like that. there send you down like that perfect uh, and then get you growing up here like this and then rinse and repeat for precisely one time line of that we can 
Oops, don't want you going up there. Now I do have less starting cash in this mission compared to the last one, so I can't go, I'm not going to go crazy, I'm, I'm going to actually not build the uh, service buildings until I actually need them, rather than building them all and just turning them off. Because uh, I was just doing that for examples purposes, and I don't want to have to expend uh, more money than I have to in case I need it for something else. Right. In fact, well, eh, we get to the point where we need these early enough that uh, ah, I made that blue. I should have made it orange. Eh, I'm not going to waste the money to change it. Maybe when I'm super rich, I'll uh, change it over for aesthetic purposes. that one more line of houses like so and one more line of uh and we'll make you reds one more line of, gar of one tile gardens perfect um now we need our roadblocks again our two uh, contiguous r uh, rectangles so we want to block that 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 and that there we go that should hold them nicely um now we do know uh, we do need the wells uh, right off the bat that's 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 a no-brainer um so we will do uh, that and that perfect uh, and then we will see about getting our citizens food once we give them a chance to move in so yeah we can see the roads have turned into nice cobblestone here get some nice population influx now let us uh, go scout our uh, food possibilities ah so um yeah fish was the name of the game in the last one it's going to be the name of the game this one too um but i failed to mention this in the quick tip so take this as a quick tip um the basically wherever wherever uh land meets water you can do fish with uh, but it, there's there's some a catch to it this jagged diagonal thing you can't put fisheries here it has to be straight line shore that isn't beach so that can be fisheries that can be fisheries but this little boop, 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 can't be fisheries this can have fisheries but that little outlet can't this can so lots and lots of room for fisheries here i that's going to probably be our staple crop here uh our staple food source rather um for the time being, um, just just to keep just to get our people fed, uh, so that should be easy enough. Because I mean, you don't need any extra processing. There's no extra buildings for it. Getting a simple and easy food source coming in is extremely important because especially in the early game your labor force and especially on hard your labor force is more limited um so you don't want to spend too many buildings uh over processing it like getting bread up as your first food stuff is a bad idea just because of just how many people it requires just just because of that um it just requires so many people to to get a full bread production going that it's great as a secondary thing once you've got the population to spare, but not so much otherwise. All right, we're getting a slower trickle of people in here, but they'll 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 come in eventually. Um, so let's uh, actually let's let's start. Um, oh, that's almost forgot the other critical buildings here. We. Um, and you want these before even leveling anything up. You want your maintenance uh, sheds and you want your tax collectors and yes i know i don't have a town hall you also want a town hall um now the off chance that i want to do another worker worker expansion down this way i won't put the town hall over there so what i'm probably gonna do is just um i could just send a an offshoot uh, over actually here's what i'm gonna do I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw down a fishery here just one for for now and get you uh, hooked up to the rest of my city here oop uh no i don't because that's gonna that's gonna in, inter interfere with some of my space um with uh because we need this for buildings over here uh if we do it over like this this is a little bit more agreeable because now we can fit it um Although, actually, that's going to interfere with, a, if I have a future city site, that will interfere with that. So, 
Let me, uh, I do want this area populated with that, uh, but you got to, I'm planning ahead here just in case. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to have you actually dive downwards here in terms of the road. Because again, this is all just going into into shipments so it's not the end of the world if uh if there's it's a little bit more roundabout of a route um yeah that'll work uh now town hall if i put no that's not going to have enough room but if i put the town hall on this side it will there we go i don't want to misplace that um because it's kind of expensive There we go. And then we'll go down like that. Okay. Kind of roundabout, but that's okay. We'll get our roadblock right here. So that, uh, that won't bother anybody. And then if we get ourselves an engineering, uh, bay here, eh, there we are. Um, I do want to put it at the end here. Um, so what I'm actually, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this out because I know these are going to be more fisheries. Actually, I should put it at the end over here because uh, I will probably do the same thing I did where I just keep extending this road out. So yeah, I'll put the, I'll put it at the end over here. And actually, it doesn't even need to cover over here. So um, we can kind of cheat a little bit here. Put you right here and then roadblock you right here so that you're just going in the important parts. All right, so that's enough. Uh, that's enough fussing. Uh, I'm not going to spam out the, uh, the the fisheries until I get more population. Speaking of, I can go up here and tweak my workers. Um, so I'm going to drop food and storage and distribution priority number one. Um, and actually, I'm going to make uh, administration food and alcohol is going to be a four. Administration is going to be a three. Um, because administration, I realized, also contains your, your engineers, and you don't want them to suddenly vanish on you, um, because then your buildings are all going to start collapsing. So we want them as a three, um, and uh, we'll push the food uh, ones, which is pretty much your, your basically your farmers. Uh, if there's a labor shortage, you can kind of skimp on your farmers a little bit, um, or at the very least, I'm okay with the farmers being kind of half populated compared to everyone else. Um, now this guy is going to need a granary soon, uh, so we will provide that for him. Um, eh, right here is fine. That's, don't think that's too close. Yeah, it's not too close to the to the houses, so that the negative aura will uh, uh, cause any problems. Uh, what is my unemployment looking at? Uh, Twenty percent, twenty-one percent. All right, perfect. We can get some more fisheries. I want, uh, well, I want to at the very least flesh out this line. All right, so three fisheries. That should be enough to supply this block here. Uh, and we are going to need some stores or shops. Shops is what they call them. Um, now, again, your, the shop and the theater are the two buildings that are important to sort of cheese them off the edge here. So we want to make sure that we're placing them somewhere where they're only, you know, they're they're extending out to the very edge corner. Otherwise, uh, you're not going to be able to fit all the buildings on here. Um, so, yeah, we will put um, actually over here is fine. Well, no, we don't want that over here. We can. Um, there we go. That's better. And then you, well, you're going to do the same thing to me, but that's okay. I'll throw down another roadblock, and that will prevent walkers from spawning in that tile. And uh, there we go. They are all set. Your city needs more workers. 26 more workers. That's fine. They are. St we still have plenty of room in the city here. People are streaming in. So let's speed things up a little bit. Still got plenty of money, but we are spending more than we're making. This is why I wanted to get the tax collectors down soon. We're not going to be making the Boku bucks from these little tents and ranches, but uh, every little bit helps. Um, now, once we start providing food, we are going to want to start looking at uh, what our trade routes are looking for, are, uh, are, are uh, going to be getting into. Because uh, we do want to make sure that uh, that is being provided for enough. 
All right, we're getting more and more people, getting more and more level twos. Um, hopefully soon we will get be uh, getting a shipment of uh, the fish over here, and that will start distributing the food. Yep, looks like he's going out to fetch them. Wonderful. How's our labor situation looking? Yeah, you always want enough unemployment that you could expand into something else. If you're just sitting at perfect and you, you don't have enough room to build more buildings to level your guys up, then you're kind of in trouble. All right, so you guys are getting up to the next level. That's perfect. Uh, and you guys are going to need the wash house next. And uh, since it doesn't require any resources, no reason to delay that. Um, we can, yeah, we'll spread the wash house uh, over here. Um, yeah, we'll put you over, we'll put you over here. We'll make, we'll, we'll make this the home of the theater. And, uh, yeah, you get to be that wash house. There we go. Excellent. And that should give us some, uh, some nice leveling up. Delivery of 800 blocks of iron in a year at the latest. Ah, uh, freaking Wilhelm. I don't, I'm, I'm not ready for iron. I'm still getting my population up here. Um, so you want me to jumpstart my iron industry, apparently. Um, and usually when they ask for a certain good, they get fairly, fairly persistent about it. Uh, thankfully we're, we, we have some unemployment to, to burn here, so we can get into steam much earlier than I normally do. That's okay. That's okay. Let's get ourselves a little uh, outpost going down here. Um, yeah, we're going to want to go this way because this is going to be our theater over here. Uh, in fact, let me just measure this out. I'm not actually going to place the theater, but I do want to measure it. So if I put the theater here, it will be yeah, the tile after that. So this one right here is where I can split it off. Perfect. So this is going to lead down to our little industrial outpost. See, this is why I wanted to pause the game here. And we're going to need to get our steam condenser up uh, much earlier than I usually uh, want. We got some steam vents down here, so uh, this is close enough to the vents. This is also close enough to our, uh, our minerals. Um, and also to some fey mushrooms. So this is going to actually look like it's going to be our source of alcohol uh, as opposed to barley and uh, booze because we don't have any fertile land here. So no farmers to worry about in this level, but probably a lot more industrial uh, types. Um, all right, so let's get our steam, uh, steam engine going here, our uh, condenser. You should be just fine there. We'll get an extractor here and uh, get you guys hooked up. There we go. That should give you the steam that you need uh, for four buildings. Um, we are going to want plenty of buildings here. Um, I can always turn the mines off when I'm not uh, kissing the Emperor's butt with their stupid requests. Uh, I am going to put this down here. You're going to refuse everything except for... Um, well, except for, the, except for these, uh, these little steam packets here. Uh, we'll have you... you don't need, we don't actually need to store up that many of them, so I'm going to drop it down to 2,000 of them. I'm uh, going to be a little bit more, and then you, uh, we will drop you down to uh, Mr. Iron, down to 4,000. That should be enough. And then we've got room to accept something else and stock it fully. Um, all right, so we got to uh, we got to find ourselves some iron here. And yes, I know we need the, uh, the maintenance dudes. Uh, I have not forgotten that, trust me. You don't want to forget that. All right, industrial, mine, and it looks like we can mine all three types here. That's an iron mine. That's an iron mine. Uh, we're going to want plenty of iron mines here. Uh, let me plop this iron mine first, see how many workers it takes. 20 people. Ugh. This is what's going to hurt, is this tw we need this need for 20 workers in these iron mines. Because um, it's going to take a while, and we're going to need more than one if we're going to make that quota um, in fact, what I might do is just build these two and loop them around. 
Which are these iron mines anyway, expense-wise? 120, not too, not too expensive. Although still more than I'd rather pay. All right, yeah, you two are, you two are golden right there. Uh, what I could do here, I think, is this, that's copper, yeah. I could start extracting copper. Um, just to build up a supply of it, uh, so that when I get to utensils, I can just transition into that. Why don't I? Since I've got, I'm getting enough for four. I'm gonna, eat, well, well hmm. I'm gonna be using up a lot of my labor pool here. So you know what? Well, I'm not gonna demolish that, but I'm not gonna hook it up. Um, I'm probably gonna need a couple of uh, engineers to cover all this too. That's one of the other things I don't like about mines too much is it just takes a lot of coverage. Luckily, these guys are nice and close to the uh, fey mushrooms, so we can get our alcohol production uh, going pretty quickly here. And get you looped around here. And uh, yeah, if we throw this down here, yeah, that's not going to... we're, we're going to need to. I, mean, I guess I could put well I already built them I already built them so that's not gonna that's not gonna work out so we're gonna need two of these guys um and yeah we'll just make we'll cordon them off so that they're their own things here and then you literally don't need to go any further but i'm gonna get some alcohol production going down here uh so th this guy i'll do them um pretty soon so we'll we'll cordon we'll cap you over here okay um so let's unpause yeah your city needs more workers i figured we would uh we yeah 60 more but we didn't go too crazy and we've got room for, for for level ups here so i'm not too worried about being able to hit the cap here not too worried about hitting the cap or being able to hit my my worker quotas here uh whether or not i uh hit the cap for uh my iron production i don't know we're getting the we're getting the steam going there nice and quick but uh, will it be enough? Well, we'll find out in the next episode. So if you like this episode and want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.